In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import 3D foot models uh, into Shoelast Maker and how to work with them. Uh, if you're new to Shoelast Maker, I suggest first watching the in, uh, introductory video. So once you have uh, Shoelast Maker installed and your side panel docked on the right side, here you can see the import foot button. We'll click that to get started. We're going to choose uh, an STL file. Uh, the first question up in the command prompt you get asked here is whether it's a plantar scan. Um, those are, that's a basically a scan that is missing the uh, the dorsal surface. Um, in this case, we're working with a full 3D uh, foot model, so we're going to click no. It next asks you if it's left or right, and uh, right's default. We can just hit enter. And now it asks if you want to reduce the mesh count. Um, this is useful if you have a really high poly count uh, foot model, but uh, this one is not so high, so we'll hit no. And now uh, we can pick up the landmarks. It asks the uh, side of the first ball joint is the first landmark. Side of the fifth ball joint is the next landmark. And now it's asking for the base of the second toe, which is just on route to picking up the central axis. Um, often you'll see uh, suggestions that it's the tip of the second toe. Uh, however, it can often be deformed quite a bit to medial or lateral, so it's uh, it's good to pick up the base of the second toe. And uh, now we can either automatically, uh, let the software automatically pick up the uh, heel point or we can uh, pick it up manually. Uh, sometimes it's known as the, the perturnion. And now you can see that the, the foot model has been uh, imported. Uh, one thing I should mention is that this foot model was already oriented such that its plantar surface was lying in the XY plane. Uh, if you're getting 3D models from a, a source that uh, orients them differently, you'll have to adjust them before importing into Shoelast Maker. Uh, but that's a that's something that uh, will be um, taken care of uh, eventually fully in Shoelast Maker. Uh, so now that we have the foot model here, you can see it's got a, it's totally flat. There's no heel head or toe spring. When, um, whereas the when we have it positioned in the shoe last, it will have uh, heel height and toe spring. So we'll just go ahead and edit that. And yeah, so you hit the the green edit button in the side panel here and pick up the foot. And you can see that the the measurements here are populated. Um, you can change them, but that's only really useful if, uh, if you're working um, with either a 2D scan or a, a scan that's missing the dorsal or plantar surface, and you're getting, say, girth measurements from a tape measure, and you want to put them in manually. But here we picked them up from the 3D model, so we'll just stick with all these measurements. Uh, whereas the heel height and toe spring we want to change so we can adjust the posture of the foot. So I've put in 15 millimeters for both and click Done. And you can see now we've got a bit of heel height and a bit of toe spring. So once we're satisfied with the posture of the foot, the next step is to uh, build the shoe last. By uh, You click the, the build button to get started with that. And uh, we need to pick up uh, what templates we want to start from. We've got a couple of basic templates already ready here. Uh, now you can see that the measurements for the foot have been automatically populated here and the measurements for the shoe last essentially are the foot measurements plus allowances um, and you can edit the uh, and see the allowances by toggling the um, the allowances button here i'll get into allowances more in another post um, you want to leave the uh, adapt checkboxes checked for length ball girth and instep girth so that these measurements are um, adapted depending on what kind of uh, template you're uh, picking uh, whereas uh, the ball width, you really want that to be exactly as is intended with the last measurement here, uh, which is the foot measurement plus the uh, the uh, foot ball width plus the allowances results in that. And the heel height as well, you want that to be exact. So we're not going to adapt either of those to the template that you have picked here and here. And once you're ready, you uh, click the build button. And so here's the, the shoe last that got built. And so its primary measurements are suitable for this foot, uh, but uh, there's more subtle aspects of the shoe last that uh, may not uh, be perfectly suited to this particular foot. And uh, we'll want to adjust some of those uh, parametrically. So you can see that it's, it's kind of tight over at the first uh, toe here. So say if you want to make a bit more space for that, we'll uh, edit the bottom edge of the shoe last. You get a uh, a silhouette of the uh, the foot in this view. So you can see it's, uh, it's going to be a bit tight there. You want to make sure that has enough space. So 
we'll go from 100 up to 120 percent on that uh, shape parameter we get a bit more space and you might even want to go up to maybe 65 here and you can see we have plenty of space now so let's uh, click the end edit to see uh, the effects on the shoe last so you can see we've got a, quite a bit of space here and by the way the um, the ghosted mode the way to get that uh, is to go into the options um, in shoe last maker and I'm running in rendered view uh, which can be a little hard if you don't have a, a decent fast computer uh, but uh, if, if you're going that way you can turn on the transparency and uh, about 0.3 works out well with the range is 0 to 1 so obviously there's still a lot that needs to be done to make this shoe last uh, suitable for this foot but uh, that's the general idea of how you go about it um, once you do have a shoe last that uh, has worked out well, of course, you can save it so that you keep it as a template. Um, and then that way, next time you come across a, a similar foot, you can use that template. And over time, you can develop a library of shoe lasts uh, that uh, can handle and, uh, a variety of deformities and foot uh, patho pathologies and abnormalities. And of course, there's going to be a lot of shoe last templates available on shoelastmaker.com as well. In an upcoming video, I'm going to uh, explain how to work with uh, not just 3D foot models, but just uh, 2D models, as well as eventually uh, plantar surface scans and dorsal surface scans. Uh, but uh, that's it for this video, so thanks for watching.